You, girl, your skirt should be 10 centimeters below knee. Hey, students are not to walk down the center of the hall. Watch where you go. Mission one, I order you to fall in love with me. You, how dare you look at a teacher like that? Stare, stare, stare. <clears throat> Sensei, you're sweating bullets. Are you all right? Cold. Just go to class. Whoa. She defeated the demon Honida. They call her the absolute zero snow woman. Anyone she glares at turns to ice. Touching her will give you frostbite. No! I'm not ready to die! Help! They always run away from me. I want to watch them longer! Ah! Aizawa-san cut her bangs! Did I do something? They're so short. She must have been trying to look like her favorite model, but I think those bangs are a little too short. Kasugi-kun... His eyes are bloodshot. Am I going to die? Maybe he was up all night trying to beat an unexpectedly hard boss in a video game. Why does she always stare at people like that? Maybe she's looking for someone to make into one of her kind. Sigh. It never fails. People watching is always so much fun! Uh, 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 Yukina-chan! Akira, let's walk home together! Did you get to watch a lot of people today? Yeah, but they always run away because of my scary eyes. Still, I have found some interesting subject matter. Hey! Did you read the new Yupina? I did, I did. The one that went out yesterday, right? It was so good, as always. I'm really rooting for the main girl. I love this part. And the Count? It's so cool, too! I heard this one's going to be printed. Yupina totally writes the best cell phone novels. They really like that novel. <laughs> you even got first place in the popularity ratings. Good for you! I, Yukina Himuro, secretly write cell phone novels. Yupina-chan! Because of my piercing gaze and extremely poor circulation, that makes my skin cold to the touch. Everyone but my cousin Akira has pretty much avoided me since I was very small. So I've come to enjoy observing people from afar and fantasizing about their lives. All I did was write down my observations and fantasies. And somehow, I have become amazingly popular. Do you think Yupina is a man or a woman? Who knows? I can't wait for the next chapter! I... I think she's staring harder than usual today. Shh! Don't make eye contact! Who will be my next model? Sit down! I'm taking roll! Oimatsu, pass out the handouts! I did it last time. Serves you right. Uematsukun would be pretty interesting. Kamiya-san has a nice flavor to her too. Nakamura-kun and Ichijo-san too. They all have enough personality to make good main characters. Hmm. 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 Gitami? Is Gitami here? Hey! Is anyone listening to me? Hey! I'm sorry, sir. Shigure Kitami. Present. Hmm? <laughs> Kitami! What took you? A committee meeting? Yes. It went a little long. Shigure has been at school all morning. He's such a hard worker. Always the same demeanor. And he always handles everything with a smile. Nice job. Always the same smile. Shigure is so... The guy is so... Wonderful! Boring. 
<laughs> He's the one person I'll never be able to base a story on. Break time! <laughs> and you know? Your penis novel? Uh, it's so good every time! <laughs> they don't realize I base my stories on them. Do they... But you know? I wish you'd write a little more... You know. Gulp. I know! I totally want to see how Yupina handles... You know. Yeah, yeah! I want Yupina to write one of those... You know. A love story! I want something that makes my heart skip a beat. Every time the characters even get close to romance, they never get past being friends. I... Love! Uh, I don't think you should have to force yourself to write anything you don't want to. It's just those girls talking. Actually, I get a lot of emails from people hoping for a love story. Uh? It had already been bothering me. I didn't think my own classmates felt that way. But... Do you think you can write a love story? No. I get the feeling I'll never be able to write a love story as long as I live. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> I can't imagine it. I can... write about friendship and following dreams. Because I can watch the people around me and imagine what it's like. But love is the one thing I have to experience for myself. But I'll never experience love. Um, hey, Yukina-chan, I think you should just do what you want to do. That's how you've always done things, isn't it? What I want to do? Dear Yupina-sensei, I've been through a lot, and I can't bring myself to leave my room. But your stories give me the courage to live another day. Thank you. Huh? See? You're right. I want to keep making readers like this one happy. And in that case, I'll do whatever I can. I'll write a love story, Yupina style. And I will overcome this barrier. Yukina-chan! I just have to find my own way to do it. But... Now that I've made up my mind, what do I do? Hmm. First, I'll... Shigure? Um, I... I like you, Shigure! Huh? Is that... Aisawa-san? One time, I was really depressed. And you told me to cheer up. And you... Held my hand. Ever since then, my heart skips a beat whenever I see you. He held her hand. And now her heart skips a beat. So... I'm sorry. I've never thought about you that way. Do you think we can just be friends? Huh? Oh. Thanks for listening. Bye. Himuro-san, do you recognize me? I'm in your class. Shigure Kitami. Ah, I'm glad you remember me. I've been wanting to talk to you. Well, aren't you the ladies' man? Oh, not at all. Not at all. Uh, I guess you saw that. Oh, man. I just don't know what they see in me. I agree. Your face. It's always the same. Huh? Kitami! Sorry, but you're not busy right now, are you? Oh, no, I'm coming! Hmm. Her heart skips a beat because he held her hand. I guess acting like you're in love can sometimes make it real. In that case, 
if I can experience some romantic situations, I should be able to get a taste of what love is. But who would help me with that? I'd feel bad making Akira do it. Hmm? Someone's student notebook? These are the names of all the girls in our class. Yui Aizawa, Sanai Ichijo, Eri Kamiya, Yukina Himuro, Tsugumi Mitori, Misato Yunoki, Akane Watanabe. What do these check marks mean? I'm the only one who doesn't have one. This is... I can use this! Ah! Uh, where did it go? If I don't find it, I'll... Are you looking for... a gold student notebook? Or a silver student notebook? Himuro... son. Oh! That's mine! You found it for me? Kitami, a good murderer? doesn't leave any evidence. You need to keep your secrets close to you. The names of all the girls whose hearts you've stolen, the date and circumstances of when they confess their love to you, and the number of girls left. And it looks like I was the only one left. You're quite the player. Why? They're the ones who fall in love and confess to me. All I did was be a little nice. It's not my fault. Well, it was a fun way to pass the time. But man, you were all I needed to complete the set. So close. So... Why the act? You... Huh? No reason. Life's just easier that way. That's all. Be nice to the girls and they love me. Agree with the guys and they like me too. As long as I'm a good little boy, the adults all trust me. Just read people's moods and respond appropriately. That's the easiest way to be. Yeah! <gasps> <laughs> Too bad. Sorry you had to learn the truth about Mr. Popular. No. I've decided. You're the one. What the? I copied every page just in case. And I have spares hidden in other locations. Your notebook is full of secrets. I doubt your easy life will go on much longer after everyone finds out about them. You. What do you want? I want you to fall in love with me. Huh? What, what in the... You have a thing for me? I only want the experience. Fall in love with me. Hold my hand. Hold me in your arms. Kiss me. Confess your true love for me. Wha? Wha? Why should I have to? You are not in a position to negotiate. Now, let's start with the hands. Ha! You're a piece of work. So what? You don't care what the guy's like as long as he's got a pretty face. Is that it? Your face has nothing to do with it, more than anything. Making you do this won't hurt my conscience. Cold! What the? Your hand is... You really are a snow woman. Shut up! I have poor circulation. Never mind that. We were just getting to the good part. Go on. What? Don't stop at the fingertips. Go on, to the middle. Ooh. Hold my whole hand. The warmth from his hand spread slowly across mine. Your personality is so cold, and yet your hand is so warm. <laughs> hey, that's long enough. No. We hold hands until they're both the same temperature. My palm, my fingers, burn with your prickling heat. And thus began 
the game of love between two people who felt nothing for each other. <laughs>